नाउ लेटेस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट यस आर टू डी फ्लिप लॉ कन्वर्शन हिया टोटली वी हैव फाइव स्टेप्स स्टेप वन इज आइडेंटिफाई द अवेलेबल एंड द रिक्वायर्ड फ्लिप लॉप्स सो अवेलेबल फ्लिप लॉप इज नथिंग बट सोर्स फ्लिप लॉप दैट इज यस आर फ्लिप लॉप वेर एज रिक्वायर्ड फ्लिप लॉप इज नथिंग बट डेस्टिनेशन फ्लिप लॉप दैट इज डी फ्लिप लॉप and the second step is construct characteristic table for the required flip flop so what is the required flip flop output flip flop d and the next two two steps are based upon the available flip flops so step 3 is construct excitation table for the available flip flop that is sr flip flop so step 4 is find the boolean expressions for the available flip flop that is sr so step 2 is based upon the required flip flop whereas step 3 and step 4 are based upon the available flip flop and the step 5 is draw the circuit diagram uh, so let us see the second step construct characteristic table for the required flip flop that is d flip flop so here d is the input uh, qn is nothing but current state output whereas qn plus 1 is nothing but next state output so here d and qn are the inputs whereas qn plus 1 is the output here we have two inputs so totally we will have four combinations 00011011 now let us find out the next state output here d flip flop means data flip flop it is useful for storing the data so irrespective of the current state output here the next state output is d only why because d means data for storing the data so here what is the data zero here what is the data zero so it is used for storing the data d flip flop next here data is one here the data is one next step 3 is construct excitation table so here qn qn plus 1 are the inputs whereas sr is nothing but output here totally we will have here totally we have two inputs so totally we will have four combinations 2 power 2 so 00011011 here the excitation table is very very simple in s column we have to write 010 and the last value is don't care r starts with don't care and the next three values are 010 so what is yes 010 don't care next r reverse of yes so that is don't care 010 now what we have to do is uh, based upon the excitation table uh, we have to fill this table uh, here we need to take uh, two more values that is s and r available uh, inputs available flip flop inputs so s and r so here based upon the qn and qn plus 1 of the excitation table we have to fill the table if qn value is 0 and qn plus 1 value is 0 then what is s s and r zero don't care next 10 means 10 means 01 next 01 01 means 10 so 01 means 10 next 11 so 11 means don't care zero don't care zero next step 4 uh, we have to find the boolean expressions for the available flip flop that is s and r so for s we have to find the boolean expression as well as for r we have to find the boolean expression for that here the inputs are d and q n are the inputs so here we have only two inputs so two variable corner of map is enough so here this column represents d whereas this column represents q n so d q n these are the inputs d q n so 0 1 0 if we observe s column 1 so what is one here d value is one q value is zero so d value is one q n value is zero so that is one next this don't care one one so one one means this don't care so we can make these two cells as a group so now what is the expression what is d value here one whereas q n value is changing from zero to one so there is no need to consider that so here the expression for the s is d so likewise find the boolean expression for r if we observe r column uh, here we have don't care uh, here uh, here if we observe here 
what is 1111 means don't care what is 1111 means don't care but we can uh, uh, a group may contain don't care so we can form these two cells as a group so likewise observe the r column so 0 0 means don't care don't care next uh, 0 1 means 1 0 1 means 1 so we can make these two cells as a group uh, next d value is 0 so that means d, d bar whereas q n e changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider that so here the expression for the s is d whereas the expression for r is d bar now we have to draw the circuit diagram so let us draw the circuit diagram so it accept s and r as the inputs so available flip flop and the output is q and q bar are the outputs and uh, so these are the outputs next uh, uh, this is nothing but clock pulse here what is the expression for s s receives input from d and r receives input from d bar so d bar means complement of d so r receives input from complement of the d so in this way we can convert uh, sr flip flop to d flip flop